is my birthday and we're in our summer country escape in Rob's hometown. Now, I forgot to pack my machine bobbins, but I did remember to buy all of the fabric. You wanna see what I got? Let's go. So a lot of people ask me, what comes first for me, the fabric or the pattern? And for me, it's like a billion percent of the time, the fabric, the glorious, glorious fabric. Fabric gets me all hot and bothered, y'all. Today, I'm going to highlight for you three small businesses that are both black owned and women owned, and they should be on your radar if they aren't already. I'm going to link them down below in that little information box. That's so convenient. Let's get into it. First up is the fabric box by Nina Ramel. This is a once a month curated box, which is run by Sherry of My Daily Threads. Now, Sherry is amazing because she makes drool worthy creations out of many of these fabrics and showcases them on her own grid and on her own blog. And then you're like, well, well, I want that. And I could have that if I just snag a box. That didn't sound right, but I'm gonna leave it in. So I was able to snag a June box and I chose this gorgeous, lightweight, poly crepe tropical print. This came in two colorways. It also had a, a black background with the same leaf print, but my wallet said, hey, you about to do double rent for a couple of, why don't you just get one? I think for this one, I am going to go with this simplicity vintage repro caftan that everyone is making. And let's be real, it's a couple of rectangles, but you know what? Sometimes I like to be told what to do. Don't tell Rob that I just said that. Next up, let us hop across the pond to Dibs of Dibs in the Machine who runs the fabric shop Selvage and Bolts. Dibs, by the way, has a laughter like cascading bells that are pealing sounds of joy. The laughter that rang out when she put this beauty in a little video DM for me was just, just I was done, this was mine. This is a medium weight, I believe it's a cotton twill. It has birds, berries, cocktails, which really, I mean, if that wasn't the deciding factor, I don't know what was. I could see something Joan Crawford-esque out of this, some sort of a, of a hostess set, something with lapels, something with a cinched waist, something with wide-legged pants, something in which I would be holding an actual cocktail, cause you got to accessorize. Now the thing with this fabric is it does have a definite wrong side. So I'm gonna have to get into some lining for this if I wanna go full Joan Crawford. I might go for a summer maxi dress because it is summer, it is, it is the time of the Leo, so I might just need another maxi dress. We come to our third shop. Tan -ta -ta -tan -tan. House of Mami Wata. If you have paid attention to any of my ramblings over the past years, you know how much I love wax print. I mean, look at what is happening right here. What? I actually got four cuts from her this time three full cuts and one, one lonely yard, which you see here as my backdrop. Yeah, I was only able to snag one yard of this floral explosion and I should have snagged more, but them's the breaks. The next three cuts I'm gonna show you are 100% cotton and have already been washed and prepped and labels removed and ready for sewing once the bobbins get here. First print I chose is actually a little demure for me. I know what you're saying. How is that demure? Well, for me, it kind of is because of a navy blue background, but these gigantic emblems are really going to give me opportunity for print placement play. And I do love a good PPP. This next print I got is a peacock print. Again, another large emblem print. Let me open that up for you. 
I mean, I don't know what else to say about that one. The third and final print that I got, I would be wearing right now to match my birthday hat. What says a Leo birthday more than shooting stars on a pink background? What, I ask you? The bobbins are supposed to get here today, so hopefully at some point today, I will be cutting into this and sewing. Now the thing is with wax print, I almost never know what I want to make. It's almost like the fabric is overwhelming in the best way. So if you guys happen to have some sparks of what you think I should sew in these wax prints, throw them down in the comments box and you might see them in an upcoming video. Hey babe. Yes? Birthday prize. Birthday prize. Looks like it's some fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, actually, that could be some pretty sweet shorts. For who? For me. For you? Yeah. You want some pink shorts? Yeah, like jams. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 because there's six yards of it, I could just, like, make a, a matching dress. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Wait. Wait. The, it would look really good. You, you said shorts, though. That's recorded, so you're getting shorts. Yes. And I'm going to make a dress. No matching. It is my birthday, so uh, we will match. He just does not know it yet. Let's open a box. Old scissors, not fabric scissors. It's actually going to take a minute. It's taped really well. <laughs> sense of color from my wonderful, amazing, stupendous parents. And obviously, we've got the same tastes <laughs> because they got me a six yard cut of the fabric that I wish that I had gotten more of. And when they got me two more! Whoa. 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 Okay. I don't want to go crazy and just rip the labels off this, but I think we've got to look at what this looks like. Look at the flowers. That looks great. Do you like it? I love it. Do you want a pair of shorts out of it? <laughs> oh, this is an embarrassment of riches. Now look at... That's so cool. It's sort of like like floral under the sea. Oh, this just screams jams. Babe, get in here. And this is also Rob's color. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Come, let the people see it on you. Oh, what does that do for his complexion? Come. Hmm, right? How about a matching shirt and short set? I'm really running him off today. Okay, babe, that's all. I love you. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, well, I'm suddenly um, three cuts richer than I thought I would be today. So I've got some fabric prepping to do. If you guys have any ideas of what patterns I should use for any of these glorious prints, please throw them down in the comments section. We might see your pattern pick in a future video and you might see me and Rob in a bunch of matching outfits. All right, till next time, uh, hit subscribe if you wanna see more and you know, you could also wish me a happy birthday if you want, whatever floats your boat. Bye. Is that a tree fog? It's a cicada. <laughs> That's a cicada? I always thought it was cicada. At least I think it's a cicada. That's a cicada. Learning. <laughs>